It is time to get uplifted. It's 523 on a Tuesday morning, and we know that uh, been really rough recently for all of us, right? Over the past year, the nation has faced a global pandemic, a presidential election riddled with unkindness, plus social and racial unrest. At times, it has been difficult to express how we're feeling, especially for our children. And that's why teachers at Phoebe Hearst Elementary School have added a poetry exercise to the curriculum. It's all in hopes that students will find find new and creative ways to share their thoughts. Our Megan Rivers has the story. Often they're uttered without much thought. They can rhyme, hurt, heal, and make one feel, because ultimately, words still matter. Award-winning poet Gail Danley is sharing her gifts with her newest pupils. If they can feel a fourth of the glee that poetry brought to my life when I was a little person, just a little bit of that. I want them to feel excited when it's time to write a poem. A safe space was created virtually for third grade students at Phoebe Hearst Elementary School. They spent a moment blending words and phrases to express themselves like Eli. I am good, I am powerful, I am brave, I am smart and you're my fave. I know speech and and it all counts with what I believe today and tomorrow. An authentic expression, simple yet powerful. Katie Dilly, one of the teachers, was hoping for this moment. And I want to give them the opportunity to be able to express what they've been feeling in this ginormous year that they've really experienced. As the students crafted their poems, some long, some short, Danley encouraged their creative process. It brings this quote to mind. Poetry is ordinary language raised to the nth power. Poetry is bonded with ideas, nerved and blooded with emotions, all held together by the delicate, tough skin of words. Paul Engel. Megan joins us now live. And you know, Megan, I really love this idea. I was sitting here thinking, why am I getting emotional? But I think it's because so many times children and young people, they're not allowed to have their voice um, in a world that's dominated by adults. And I, I get that, but to have this outlet is so impactful. Well, Allison, I think you're getting emotional because you just have a lot of feelings, you know? <laughs> I have a lot of feelings too, and I loved Eli's poem. And as I was editing that piece, I just kept, you know, replaying his poem over yeah. and over. And I think that's just like a mantra that we can all live by. I'm so happy that these students are being encouraged to find their voice, to use their words, because like she said, like Gail said, words matter so much. And oftentimes people say things and they don't really think about how they can impact people and how they can have an effect right. on people. But early on at a young age, around eight, Eight, nine years old those students are they're learning that their words matter and they they can have an effect not only on themselves but other people as well absolutely and when he said I am good there's so much power in that Megan thank you so much for this story really and I'm gonna need some tissues I appreciate you you're welcome <laughs> oh boy <laughs> and if you have a, uh, a story to share that you think would make a great get uplifted to inspire other people why don't you email us at get uplifted at wusa9.com you can also hit me on social media there I am on Twitter or Instagram and join the conversation just by using the hashtag get up DC we'll